Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 24th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we did have some strong solar flares over the past two days. Observing all of these flares right now with Earth-facing sunspot regions. As well in the southern hemisphere, plasma filament eruption in the last few images. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is activity cresting into view. We still have sunspots rolling in. And as well, a plasma prominence on the left-hand side there, erecting from the surface. Having a look at outgoing imagery here. Right-hand side, that's where we will see the southern hemisphere plasma filament lifting away. Looking at another light, amazing imagery here of the M-class solar flares. Multiple M-class solar flares and X1.9 solar flares. So correction, yesterday's strong M-class was at X1.9. Coronal hole wind stream. We were expecting that coronal hole wind stream at the same time as the flare yesterday. And I do believe that the coronal mass ejection helped induce and speed up the coronal hole wind stream because we are seeing some intense solar winds right now. 171 angstroms. We have eight sunspot regions right now. And a couple of them are very big. And they are the ones who have been producing the large M-scale solar flares. And we could see something even stronger here. So heads up, these spots are still Earth-facing. Current space weather conditions, we are under G4. So strong, severe geomagnetic storm impacts. This is quite a space weather event to report. I have not reported a severe geomagnetic event like this. Our KP index hopped up to an 8. Solar radiation storm impacts ex expected as we're at a level 2 strong solar storm. And look at these solar winds. 817 kilometers per second. It's over 1.8 million miles per hour. Solar X-ray flux multiple M-class solar flares, and even after last night's update. Solar proton flux up into the almost S3 range and geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP8. Solar winds, as you can see here, they did top out at almost 890 kilometers per second, so almost 900 kilometers per second, folks. These are the fastest winds we've recorded in the past year maybe even two years. And have a look at our magnetosphere. This is showing the intense solar winds bombarding our atmosphere, our magnetosphere. Cosmic charged particles penetrating our ionosphere. Severe solar storm and event in progress right now. Having a look here at the magnetosphere, showing the pressure as Earth is under a lot of pressure. We saw a 6.9 earthquake yesterday. Heads up, we will see something strong yet again. 6.0 and stronger over the next 24 to 36 hours as we are expecting this space weather event. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing that large CME, multiple CMEs actually, Little green circle in this map and diagram is Earth. And of course, when you get into the reds, that is the more intense space weather. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME taking off in an outgoing direction, partially towards Venus and Mars. Looking at our northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere for Aurora predictions for tonight. Look at this. Extreme G4 geomagnetic storm effects in the southern hemisphere and the north. Let's have a look at LASCO 3 showing the broader spectrum of this large CME and all of its static cosmic energies bombarding our satellite here. This is the last two days of imagery from the 2nd, 22nd 
to the 24th. But watching the last few images, I'll try to slow it down. You can see the most recent CME that was projected off of our sun from that plasma filament eruption in the southern hemisphere right there. That's all we got for now, folks. Stay tuned. Now let's get to earthquakes as things are quieting down a little bit. We're under 200 earthquakes now. Yesterday was about 280. Things really picked up overnight. Largest the last 24 hours being a 5.7 there, eastern Indonesia. And lots of activity throughout this region. Venturi as well a 5.2 here in the Philippines. Papua New Guinea. And here's our deepest earthquake today. 4.6, 115 kilometer depth. 5.1 there, shallow Fiji. And minor activity at Hawaii. South of Kamchatka here, Kuril Islands, 4.6. Notable 4.1 here, north of Tibet, Mongolia. As well as 4.4 there, up into the Indian Plate. There's been activity all around the Indian Plate recently. Seems to be increasing. Watch out, Turkey. South America. Coming back to life, 5.1 there, reported Chile. Central America, a little bit quiet, and same with North America right now. No major earthquakes or swarms to report. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for Shakers around the world. And I want to take a quick moment to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. We got over 250 new followers overnight. So God bless you all and thank you so much for finding the channel or possibly getting shared from a friend. I really appreciate all the shares and cares for this channel. It's all about awareness and preparedness here. This is the last seven days for earthquakes, largest being the 6.9 yesterday. We haven't had many deep earthquakes, so heads up. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast. Sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by our 45 volcanoes that are erupting worldwide. Most intense are still a lot of the North Pacific and across North America right now from the Iceland volcano as it has been erupting for the past nine days emitting immense amounts of SO2 as that bubbling lava is still just pouring out hundreds of square meters per second. Quick browse here at the rest of the world. Overlooking Africa, South America. Nothing new or major to report in the Southern Hemisphere. Be keeping an eye on the South Sandwich Islands. Michael Volcano has been puff puffing little spews of gases here and there. Overlooking Australia. Southeast Asia. Mighty Aoba right now seems to be the largest one through the region that is producing SO2. Now let's get to weather forecast brought to you by windy.com right now. Across the United States, you've got a Colorado low that will be scooting northward into northern Ontario, Manitoba, bringing snow across eastern Canada. Extreme weather will be ripping up the eastern seaboard, the United States and the Atlantic provinces in the long range. Watch for a very windy and stormy event. Quite blizzard-like conditions as well with another system in the long range heading up into the Atlantic provinces and a big system coming in from the west. So lots of low pressure systems affecting North America this week. Same with Europe. There is a lot of moisture in our northern hemisphere right now. Big strong low here will be sitting and grinding over Ireland all week long. So great days ahead for you and lots of moisture and a lot of snow, even in the long range, parts of Finland, Norway, overlooking Africa, Australia, and Southeast Asia. Pretty strong system heading across Japan, strong system raking down the east coast of Madagascar, and as well a strong system will be 
heading across the Australian continent in the long-range forecast. No major typhoons or cyclones are forecast. Leave you here looking over the North Pacific as there are multiple systems developing all this week and we'll be making landfall BC and Oregon and then down into California. Atmospheric river will be prevalent in the long range forecast. So again, thanks everybody for following along and finding this channel. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.